Howdy Air Garden Tribe. Quick video for you guys today. We've had some people in the uh, in the Facebook community group just talking about some of the difficulties in getting our net pots in and out. Now these are a little bit stiffer than our old ones, which is good, meaning that they'll last a bit longer. But when you know the technique, it's just as easy to get them in and out as they were before. So we'll show you some quick tips. So first thing from empty, if we want to get one of these out, all we need to do is place our left or right index finger on the corner of here. And what we want to do is we just want to bend it like that. We can bend it all the way down into here. And then all we have to do is rotate that until we can see that both of these edges are clear of this back edge. And it's really easy to pop out. Conversely, putting it back in, same process, turn it, and then we just let our finger go and we rotate it back so we know that both of those edges are tucked in. Super easy. So what do we do when we've got a plant? Pretty much the same process, exact same thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our finger to the back here. We're gonna rotate that like that to make sure we've got some clearance. We're gonna turn it and we're just gonna pop it out like that. And we can inspect our roots. We can see we've got a great healthy little root system here on our plants, which is crazy. So don't be afraid to try and pull them out and pop them back in if need be. There we go, and to put it back in, easy. What you want to do is you just want to guide your root ball back in, make sure that's all tucked in before you pop your net pot back in. And the exact same process, before we put it down, we just want to push that back edge down, get it down into the corner, get one edge tucked in under it, let our finger go, and then just turn it. And you can see there that both of those edges are tucked in nice and easily. Last step in this, if we're having a lot of difficulty and we've got a really big plant, sometimes with our herbs, silver beet, things can get massive and you might need to get a really expensive tool. And this expensive tool is basically just a regular old knife. So if we need to get a bit of leverage, here's the way we do it if we're having a bit of a drama. Same process, we want to get that corner. We always want to get to a corner with our finger. We want to get our little knife's edge in the back here and we want to just turn it like that, turn it like that, use that, and then we've got our knife in under there, and we can use that just to leverage it and pop it out like that. Same process back in if we want to get it back in. Just get it in, tuck it in and under, and turn it until all that's there, and then we're done. The only other thing that you might have to do, if you've got a heap, a heap of plant growth right up on the back here, and all of this, is just kind of planted out and there's a whole heap of foliage there. What you can do is you can grab your secateurs or your scissors and just cut away this back edge so you've got a little bit of play when you get your finger or your knife in here. You've got a little bit of a gap to work with to just get that, to get that edge in so you can turn it. So that's the only thing you would want to do if you've got absolutely no space in between this back edge and the plant there, you can just trim away at all your plant matter up there. So you've just got a little bit more give in that back part of the net pot. And there we go. We're just going to tuck that back in, turn it, put it in, back into the dishwasher, harvest your greens and you're done.